Welcome everyone. There's an alarm going off. Welcome everyone. I'm here today in Century City, California with Donnie Spielberg and we are going to show you the movie locations, the filming locations of the 1988 classic, probably one of the greatest action films ever made, Die Hard. Yippee ki yay, mother... Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Due to Adam the Woo's legacy of going on adventures without asking your mom, you're about to see a video of Die Hard filming locations. You will be witnesses. This was a toughie to find. It's actually the International Terminal here at Los Angeles International Airport. The baggage claim area looks a little bit different, but the window across the back and the stairway that he walked up is still there. Argyle, I'm your limo driver. Okay. Argyle, what do we do now? Right after John McClane gets picked up by Argyle from the airport, the very first car scene was right behind us. This is the spot! Wait, so you're telling me that that scene was filmed right there? Very fast, Donnie. Relax. We got everything in this mug, man. Had a very hard time finding this intersection because in the film you can actually see a street sign, read the name of it there, but in the movie it's in the background and very grainy. And the way I could tell this was the spot is because of this wall made out of concrete that the car is coming towards us. Look at this. CD, CB, TV, telephone. Full bar VHS. The limousine would have been coming directly towards us. The way you can tell this is the exact spot is because of these wrought iron fences. As the limousine passes the camera frame, you can see this square pillar and this right here, this exact wrought iron frame, as well as come with me. This is in the shot when the limousine passes right by here, showing this and this rock wall, this brick wall. If you look straight ahead, you'll see this house that has this little arch frame right above that window. The first shot of Nakatomi Plaza in the movie. You mind if we hear some tunes? They actually pull right off this off ramp. They go up around the corner and then little do we know that right there, BAM! Don't you have any Christmas music? Man, this is Christmas music. The really cool thing is, when the limo comes right up here, you can actually see the base of this pole, and you can actually see the street lighting box, high voltage right there. Then the limo turns the corner, comes around this way, and then bam, the tower right there in front of us. Shonka, conka, conka. John McClane? He's on his way. It's quite a place you have here. It will be if we ever get it finished. There's still several floors under construction. When the terrorists first make their appearance in the big box truck, they actually drive down this road and they turn this corner so the truck would have been driving this way, shifted and turned that way. A lot of construction is being done. There's actually a big McDonald's way down the road that you can actually see in the shot as well as a fire hydrant. Let's go see if the fire hydrant's still over there. Come on. They drove down this way, then they turned onto another road heading towards Nakatomi Tower.
This is the McDonald's that you can actually see in the shot. However, they've actually built a little bit of a ramp down that way. You can't really see it from the other angle. But rest assured, this is the McDonald's. You want to get something to eat? I would love to. Let's do that. Time for a little lunch break. The box truck actually goes downward, down to the bottom, and you can actually see this in the shot. This little greenery foliage was not there, and on the back side of that is where they had the Nakatomi Plaza emblem, right there. Nice suit. John Phillips, London. I have two myself. Right beside us is Ralph's, the grocery store, and when John McClain is at the very tippy top of the building and he pulls the fire alarm. We've got a fire alarm. The whole onslaught of firemen in their trucks and vehicles are driving this way. Come to Papa, come on. Uh. <laughs> of course, all of that gets distorted and changed, and they turn around, and they would have turned around right here, done a U-turn, and headed back the other way. There's a lot of great lines in the movie, but one of my favorite lines from John McClane was right during this scene, something about a Dalmatian and kissing it. Yeah, come on, baby, come to Papa, I kiss your Dalmatian. Right behind me was the convenience store where Reginald Vell Johnson was buying the Twinkies. You can see it's been bulldozed and now there is a Goodwill. This was where the gas station was. I'm on my way. 74 cents a gallon. The gas station sign was right there. And of course there's a panning shot and we see Nakatomi Tower, the terrorists. Who said we were terrorists? Chasing John McClane with their guns right on the tippy top of the building. You can actually see those stairways in the background of the shop. This is 8 Lincoln 30, come on in, over. Investigate a code 2 at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. Gas station is right where I am standing, and you can see the Bellwood Avenue sign, and then it pans up to the top of the tower. Look at how grown up those trees in the background have grown since 1988. That's where the police car came straight towards us down this hill when Officer Al Powell is getting shot at. The window gets shot out and it's this window right here. This second window right above the hedges. This hedge area was not here when they filmed it. But check out this shot. That's the window. Second window from the end. When the police car goes off the ledge, this was actually under construction when the movie was being filmed. So this was empty, but this little cul-de-sac circle was still here. The police car went right past the sign, which is basically where that no parking sign is now. Right over here is the spot where Al Powell's car crashed. It fell down. This was a little hill. It fell right down here and rested down here on the other side of this. Argyle? Just drive the car, man. So the FBI agents are running across the street. This actually was changed from Fox Plaza to Nakatomi Tower. When the FBI agents are armed with their guns, they run up this hill 
and there are some thorn bushes and the guy prickles his hand on the thorn bushes. You can actually see the back side of this. Remember this scene? Right inside there is where the guy was hungry. The terrorist wanted a candy bar. Right in there. When the tank comes across the road, it crossed right there next to these apartment complexes and straight up right into one of those railings. When the rocket launcher is fired, that is the window right there that they shoot the rocket out right down towards the tank. There's four railings left. There were five during the movie. Fox Plaza actually took one of the railings in the center and the other center railing and they mashed them closer together so no one would ever know that there were actually five railings except you. You now know that there were five railings. The railing that used to be right there was actually plowed down by the armored tank. This railing used to be right here, and this railing used to be right here, creating five railings across the front. Now you only see four, the tank right there, and the rocket coming down from right there. The three FBI agents that were actually shot they were trying to break in with a blowtorch right there. They were shot through that window and they were laying right here in pain as the tank was on fire. Oh my God, the quarterback is toned. Let's see you take this under advisement, jerkweed. Tell me you got that. I got it, I got it. Obviously they come for their Dalmatian. <laughs> They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. Regular as clockwork. So in this shot, the truck is right here to the right. Let the friggin' building shut down. The FBI is trying to turn the power off. They actually went down into a manhole. I discovered that the manhole is actually right there on the sidewalk. That's it! You ask for miracles, Theo, I give you the FBI. Let the friggin' building shut down! I got a problem. I don't hey, care what you're I got a switch. I want the building Hold out! Doc! That's not what you don't understand. You can't do it from here. Yeah, you can't be done from here. It's gotta be done from downtown. Lose the grid, or you lose your job. Shut it down. Shut it down now. Look at that beautiful fountain. That fountain, you can see when the helicopters fly over to go up to the top of the building. I don't like this, Sarge. Trails, Hans. Well, I hope that's not a hostage.
Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you go over to Donnie's channel, YouTube slash Donnie Spielberg. He's going to be putting up a little bit of behind the scenes of our adventure today. Are you telling me we just visited all the filming locations for Die Hard? Like I said, pretty fast, Donnie.